this be the pirate Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Elsewhere, and it's time to return to Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. Arr! Alright. Now. Let's, uh, cancel our working relationship with the hook here. You're supposed to be cooking. I had to go to the bathroom. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Oh, darn. Hey, at least I got my pay in advance. Yuck. That's okay. Now we got the spit. Now, the next thing we have to do... Apparently there's audio commentary with this game, but we're not using it. Is the idiot still in there? Oh no, he's not! Okay. It doesn't seem to stay closed. Alright. I think I hear Largo coming. Now let's get behind the crescent screen. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. Arr. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. It's empty. It's empty. It's already open. All right. Nice. I don't want to steal his bell. I feel bad enough setting his alligator free. Hmm. Only one guest. Hmm. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out! Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come! I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years! I said, I need it back tonight! What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night! This is useless! You tell them I'll be back to pick it up! Or else. Arr, I'll be telling him that. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? <sighs> no, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout out it. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Hmm. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Alright, so I gotta f somehow get his clothes. I need a claim ticket. Hmm. <laughs> I can see if that idiot's in there. They look pretty old. 
I bet I'd better not touch them. Looks, looks like somebody's somebody trying, trying to go for a penicillin. Or maybe. Okay, maybe they special, special about, about it. it. And again, again, they never really have understood art. Let's see. Go over here. Nope. All right. How am I gonna get a clean ticket here? I have a you know, let's see. Oh yeah, I got the stick earlier. <sighs> I got, got one laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, nothing. I don't, I don't care, care about, about clean clothes. No, no I, I don't, don't have any clothes. clothes. I, I didn't think you would. Arr. <laughs> I'd like to pick up some clothes. Yeah, yeah you have your clothes. Clothes. Got any. I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log well melted. Well, now that, that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. <laughs> I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. All right. Mom, that would be my, my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. All right. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I lost it while being keel hauled. Your dog got mauled? Arr. What does that have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for chocolate-covered ants? I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. <sighs> Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. So I need to get a claim ticket. Hello. Mm. I wonder if I can take a paper. It's a pile of blank paper. Hmm. So I need a claim ticket. This is gonna be tricky. All I need is one something that can act as a claim ticket. I wonder if these guys have anything like a claim ticket. See you salty dogs later. Hmm. Trying to think where I might find the clean ticket or how to get the clean ticket. inventory. Hmm. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Something tells me Marty's not the smartest of fish in the sea.
Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Something of the thread, something of the head, no. something of the body, and something of the dead. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. <laughs> I must be missing something. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. No, we don't clean leather. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Nice. I'm gonna see if I can find anything more. It's empty. It's already open. Hmm. Nope. None too bright. Then again, maybe I'm none too bright for not realizing, not thinking of that before. Talk to Mad Marty. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Got it right here. Great. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. Pardon? I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Now, oh, where was it? Mm. Ah, here it comes. Well, um... I think it's time now to uh, get ourselves something together here. As we get rid of Largo Legrand. Come on, Guybrush. Palar Coffin. Our kayak coffin. I be going to swamps a lot in these games lately. Back again, Mr. Threepwood? Arr. Uh, about that voodoo doll? Have you brought me the ingredients? I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Arr. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? Arr. I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! <laughs> now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. Darr. 
a single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. Arr. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. Aye, the Colonel's secret recipe. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Largo. Largo, Largo, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Arr. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Arr. Close to Largo is not the ideal situation. But... We make it work. Arr. Heading back to Wooditic. I am not afraid of Largo now. I bet he's in here right now. Hey. Yep. What are you doing in here? Get out of my room and stay out. Nope. How dare you come in here again? It's people like you who make people like me who we are. <laughs> ah. Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Tear. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no good, vicious, two bit thug. I command Arr. you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh, well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make. What? No! 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 That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. Arr. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. And Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring it back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Hey, guy, rush, you'd be an idiot. Oh, I'm afraid boy. it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. <clears throat> what can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting <clears throat> for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Arr. Whoop isn't just a treasure. It oh. contains the secret to another world. Oh. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop, 
unclaimed bonanza or myth. And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. Err. All right, well, let's see. Big Whoop, unclaimed bonanza or myth? This is fascinating. It says Arr. here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook. Mm. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mm. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. Arr. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Raph Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Raph was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He Arr. used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain mm. Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. Well, that's something. Hmm. <clears throat> well, we also know where the steam and weenie hut is. I think we'll go check out the steam and weenie hut. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Can't dig that, Daddy. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Nice. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. I don't really think that matters. Let's talk to Fink and. Let's see if we can find out something. He's back! Well, you guys can stop worrying about Largo. He's history. Oh, really? He must have finally got that nasty letter I wrote. You sure can write a mean letter, Pink. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye pads. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush, not Girl Scouts. Arr. Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named... Captain Dredd. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Yeah, well, we already met him. Once you get to know him. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. Alrighty. We're gonna have to get into that hut somehow. We have to wait till later. Let me see if I can talk to find out anything else from anybody. <clears throat> yeah? Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, Arr. well, no, never mind. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Hmm, <laughs> nothing new there. Hmm. 
Let's talk to the barkeep. Maybe we can get something here. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Okay. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. Arr. In that case, I'll take my business elsewhere. Sorry, kid. All right. Wonder if uh. Hello. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Hey, I did it! Largo the Grand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. Okay. Arr. This has not been as informative as I've liked. Let's see if there's anything though in here I could use. Nice. I don't like styrofoam. It's bad for the environment. Well, that may be true, but um, I'm trying to find a well, you know what? Let's try talking to Captain Dread. Arr. And let's see. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time, on? Why can't I charter your ship? <clears throat> like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Okay. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. All right. So we got rid of Largo, but now all we gotta do is get him an eye. Hmm. And look at the sign here again. It says, and I quote, Captain Dread's ship charters. Twenty pieces of eight. Inquire within. Well, we got enough for pieces of eight. Hmm. Uh, let's check the cemetery one last time. This may be a bad idea. Stands casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up. Let's see. Can't dig that, Daddy. Mm. Well, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it a call it quits here, and we will continue this next time. As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, inviting you to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other playthroughs I've done, which includes the previous game in the series. Secret of Monkey Island, as well as some others from such companies as Sierra, which includes Gabriel Knight 1, Torrens Passage, and Shivers, as well as some other classics and newer games, which includes Alien Isolation. So until next time.
Take care. And have fun. Arr.